hi, hi. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. So good to be here. So good to see you again. How's everybody doing? Y'all having a good time? I'm unmuted. I did it. Made it happen. Thank you. Let's give it up for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I've uh, I've heard there's some bad weather going around. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, that, wait, that's true. Holy shit, the planet hat getting keyed out like this is amazing. Whoa. Thank you for pointing that out, Johnny. I'm going to just keep looking at that. Um, all right, we got Shirt of the Day from Xerxes. Shirt of the Day today is this... Record station Shimokita. This is a lovely record store in Shimokitazawa in Tokyo. If you ever want to go there, I recommend it. Um, let's see, what else is... Uh, we also have... Um, let's see. Yeah, this fit with the background is working, isn't it? With the with the planet hat, etc. Um, we also have uh, album of the day, hope, and you'll have to give me some time. I hope you stick around till the end of the stream, and I will be happy to deliver on that for you. Um, welcome everybody. So I am Hello Passion. Do you like my hat? I think it was pretty cool with the key, no? Um. So this game, I, I've been wanting to play since they announced it. Um, I also got to turn on the music a little bit, I think. Turn it up for album of the day. I forgot to turn it back down. Whoops. Um, I still got to do that album of the day screen, don't I? Shoot. All right. Well, uh, welcome in, everybody. Uh, oh, shit, passion. Hell yeah. Papa sweater. Fuck yeah. I'm excited to see that. Um, and I'm excited. We're going to... Louisa's back in town now, so we're going to get some new merch going. And one of the, one of the first priorities is going to be an RIP basket. RIP basket's got to be a, on a shirt or something. Um, Scrimp, thank you, Shrees. Thank you so much. Uh, for everyone, thank you. Everyone, if you are not aware, Brooke Shrimp, welcome back. Thank you for the resub and right on time because I'm announcing that luckily the channel has a brand new uh, wonderful member of the team. This is really exciting news. Uh, we have officially brought on a new publicist, uh, lawyer, and creative director he's going to be doing all three he's our head attorney he's our creative director and he's our and he's our uh, uh publicist and this is our brand new member of the team really excited to to welcome him um he's on a plane right now but we has we have a photo of him in transit and he just wanted to say hello to you all and this is uh this is scrimp and uh scrimp is our new publicist our new lawyer and our new creative director, and he's coming to the channel uh, to shake things up a bit, turn it around, and he's going to teach us all how to love again. So thank you, Scrimp. We're really looking forward to you arriving. He's on the plane right now. Uh, he has some medicals to undergo. But um, Scrimp's fantastic. We love Scrimp a lot. Uh, he was, of course, one of the producers on the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and um, he is also a dear friend of mine. So thank you so much to Scrimp for all your hard work and uh, for teaching us how to love again. So thank you, Scrimp. Um, all right. And we are going to get into the game. So uh, so Al, I'm planning to do a whole Q&A with Scrimp separately. Um, we're going to do a big Scrimp stream and uh, we're going to talk about it um, before I do. Uh-oh. Before I do what? I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh. Oh. 
Uh oh, it got reset. I'm scared. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Passion. I'll just. I'll just. Oh yeah. I'll just do that. I'll get rid of the sub goal for now. We don't need the sub goal as much as we need scrim. Wow. Thank you, scrim. Thank you very much, Passion, for welcoming Scrimp to the stream. He's arrived. Uh, we love you, Scrimp. You are a dear friend of mine. <laughs> this actually means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for accepting Scrimp into this channel, y'all. I really, this, I can't tell you how much this means to me. Ah. <sighs> And passion, thank you for doing this. It really means a lot to me. I unfortunately, y'all, I woke up today. I'm a little sick. And I'm pretty bummed. I am not too sick to stream, but I I have post-nasal drip. And oh no, what? Dreamer money, does it not work? Did you try to redeem it and it didn't work? Pending approval. Oh, yes. Pending approval. So, do I have to... This is amazing if this is the first Texas to be... Texas, but maybe there's a pop-up that I need to say approve on somewhere. I just have to accept it on sound alerts. Okay, hold on. I'll do that right now. Wait, that's great news, though. Um, hi, I'm B. Thank you so much for the gift sub. Um, and, uh, and thank you also to Brittany for the resub. Let me, yeah, shit. Okay, hold on. Sound alerts needs to, I need to accept that. I need to test, I guess, how to, like, make sure I know that it's there. Maybe I can turn off the, uh... I mean, I feel like it's okay, cool. Yeah, hell yeah, approve. Okay, here we go. Thank you very much, Dreamer Money. And I'm really excited to see what the first ever use of the text to speech is. Thank you, Dreamer Money. Here we go. Well, I shouldn't thank you in advance because I don't know what you're going to say, but hopefully it's good. Scrimp is love, scrimp is life. He is my everything, tee hee hee. May he prosper and thrive. Satan bless Scrimp. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. That was that was beautiful. That was the best first use of the text of speech I could have imagined. Bless Scrimp. May he prosper and thrive. Thank you, Scrimp. And thank you all of you for welcoming our new creative director, Scrimp. Uh, I did. I did need this today. I um. I I very much needed Scrimp in my life. I needed you to be so welcoming because I. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little shitty. Feeling a little shitty. I'm supposed to DJ birthday party tonight. I can't do that anymore. Because I feel like, uh, I feel like po uh, poopy. Well, no, I don't feel like poopy. I feel like pee-pee. I don't feel that, that bad. But I feel bad enough to not party. But I can, I can explore a beautiful... Uh, beautiful world here and I'll take you I'll take you over the full screen I do miss I do miss scrimp now but Shit. Martin honestly not a bad idea maybe I should just do a radio tie set tonight I have all this music that I prepared I could honestly probably do that just a quick little set. Um, maybe I'll do that, or maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I don't know. Ugh. I do feel bad. I need to go get my juicy juice. Okay. Um, let's. Uh, yeah, the hell pizza probably got me sick. Honestly, that's true. Okay, we're gonna do this game. Um, real quick before we get into it. I just want to um, briefly go get my juicy juice and because I'm drinking some green juices for my health.
You hear that? I'm drinking. I'm drinking green juices. Yeah. I'm gonna move to Los Angeles soon enough. Alrighty, everybody. Uh, hang tight for one second. I need to go get my juicy juice. I know. I know. Just give me one moment. I'm gonna just. Just kick you to BRB, but here, here's here's the news. Good news, good news. <laughs> cat cam's back. Arthur just decided to sit down. You watch the cat for a second, and we're gonna have a cozy little Tuesday. Here. I'm back. I'm back. Thank you, thank you, Scrimp. Thank you very much, Scrimp. Um. Yeah, this is Tranquil Tuesday. This can be Tranquil Tuesday. Dreamer Money, thank you so much for the gift sub to Scram. Ah, I really, um, I really, I really am sad that Scrimp is already taken. Because now I'm going to really have to. Fuck. Ah, shit. Look, here's the thing. I was thinking of, I was thinking about adding Scrimp to the mod team. You know, with Smokey, I can't do that anymore. Thank you so much, no, Tony hey, Starlight. This is very kind of you. Thank you, Johnny. I say sorry you aren't feeling well. Go get yourself some soup and get well soon. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I'm gonna make those text to speech from now on. I think too. I gotta. I realize that. Yeah. Now that. Now that everything's cooling down, I think with things being subs, like with those things being sub, I feel like I can just let you text a speech and it's not going to be a problem. Yeah. Scrimsaw's name could probably work. Yeah, you're right. That's a good point. Dream Money, thank you so much for these five gift subs. So generous. Really appreciate that always. Zay, thank you for the gift sub to Daisy. And, um, all right, let's, uh, y'all want to play this game, so let me get into this game. I want to play the game, too. No, without further ado, let me make sure that I'm, uh, I put this up there. Is this a better place for it, like, down by me? Maybe? I don't know. Well, regardless, it's about to go away. Good night. Good night to the song Dream Baby Dream. Okay. And let's press any button. Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be... this. Yeah, we haven't started yet, Mike. I'm always a little late getting into things. Um, this game is supposed to be so pretty. I saw it debuted I think it was like when they were just announcing all the PlayStation 5 games for the first time all right subtitles on obviously and then sound effect captions I don't know hmm. Let's see if we need that but so this um this game is looks very emotional and gorgeous. Um and we will see how it goes. Oh, we have a love a cute one from Zaki. Thank you, Zaki. Now Tane I can get into. Thanks, Zaki. Give myself a little treat. Wait, Mara, you did that? Wait, yeah, you did. Why did it say it was Zach? Who are you? He's not even here. I don't know, but I'm writing to you That's anyway. That's bizarre. Thank you, Mara. Where are you? Thank you. How far in bizarre. the future? Okay, sorry. Where'd get you back find to my game. journal? I may never know, but you can know me from what I put down on these pages. I come from a little village in the mountains. 
No one has left here since before I was born. But our lives changed overnight, just a few days ago when my best friend had a prophetic dream. A vision that the Elder said means this season is going to end soon. The world is about to enter a new era. A great change is coming. Everyone was afraid. I was surrounded by questions and I began to feel how little I know. What is this season that is about to end? And why is it ending? What exactly is out there that could turn the world inside out? If there are still voices singing and laughing in the wilderness, I could record them before they're gone. I also thought of my dad, who always wanted to see the outside world but never did. So, I asked if I could leave. The elder had one condition for letting me go, that I take what I collect to the museum vault, a palace of art and memory at the edge of the earth. She says it's the only place safe from the turmoil of a changing season. I hope that's where you're reading this now. I can't stop the change that is coming, but this time on Earth could live on in these pages. What it looks like, sounds like, how it feels to be alive right now. I'm writing to you at the crack of dawn on the morning I leave home. I can smell breakfast cooking in the other room, and I can hear my mom's voice. All right, here we go. We got a pretty game alert. Uh-oh, looks like this is gonna be gorgeous. Get your hats on. It's time, oh, it's time to leave home and go document the beauty of the world. Okay. All right. Great. Oh, okay, I got a little dog. Yeah, I'm gonna pull the string. Three. Two, one, hooray! Mr. Lotto's here. That was so scary. Why was that so scary? That is not this. What? I thought this was not a spooky game. <laughs> Okay, Catalog of Strangers. Introduction to the more frightful aspects of this world. It's ways of scaring children. Cool. Love that. Love them being just super forward with the point of it is to scare the shit out of your kids. My bag and dad's camera. Ready for the great departure. What's this? All right, you wouldn't like a fish. Dream Runner, you're absolutely right. The drip is fantastic. Or look, it's first place too. What is she first place in? Oh, my neck. The Wandering Tail Festival. I'm, I, yeah, I'm really excited, y'all. This is very charming already. I'm excited for you to be on this journey with me. I'm not- I might not talk too much, to be honest. Um, let's see here. This bill is worth ten poems. that shit. A 
Okay, this fucking game is giving me press triangle to absorb the moment. <laughs> we are we are getting started on something here. We we are getting started on something here. Let's let's okay. Yeah. Just absorb just absorb that moment. The last moment in this little house. There used to be three of us here. My mom and dad and me. Soon it will be just her. Her and all these memories. But in this moment, everything is the same as ever. Until I shift my weight. The floorboards creak. Mom hears it and turns to me. No! You're up. Fit. <laughs> Dude, oh, you're up. <laughs> what are you doing standing there? God. Uh, I guess it was good that I that I it's good that I added the fart, isn't it? I guess it's good that I added that sound alert. Well, thank you for playing the toot. Thank you. Time to get going. It's going <sighs> to be a beautiful morning. I'm making progress. I found the burner, camera, recorder, travel bag. That was really something. Breakfast is in progress. Still got to make a pendant. We haven't used this in so long. Good thing I saved the instructions. Just as you would use a shield to protect your body. An identity pendant protects your mind. Hmm. Your thoughts, memories, everything that makes you, you. We don't wear them here in the village anymore, but if you're going into the outside world, I'll feel better when you've got a pendant shielding you. Diseases of the mind, like the dream sickness. We don't know what caused it, we heard people suddenly fell into an eternal sleep. These were years of wild rumors, and half of them turned out to be true. In times of war, a pendant can be used to identify a body. Ugh. Let's skip that part. Objects have two layers, the physical and the mental. The pendant needs to absorb both. One. Collect a sentimental object for each sense. Sound, smell, feel, sight, taste. Two, feel the sense and speak aloud a memory of the object. Three, feed the object into the burner. The memory will leave the speaker as it is transferred to the pendant. That means I'll forget the memory after I say it. It's supposed to be painless, at least. Okay, so... Let's go for it. This old tape should work for our sense of sound. I remember... You and I fell asleep listening to this tape. Your dad can come. We all rested together until it got dark. Nice. What an odd feeling. Like an absence disappearing. The empty space fills itself back in until I forget that I forgot anything at all. <sighs> I'm glad I'm only losing a few memories. If I lost too many, I wouldn't even know who you are. 
You should pick the rest of the objects. I'll lose the memories, but you'll have them in a pendant forever. So they should be important to you. They should be parts of your identity you want to be sure to protect. So think about what these items and what the memories would preserve about you. Let's do smell next. Find an object with a strong odor and that holds a piece of you. What's that? Oh, dry flowers. Ancient perfume sweet. Nothing is ever lost. I'll think about that. Yeah, they're saying the toots have strong odor. Ah. <laughs> uh. Y'all. My bag and dad's camera. Ready for the great departure. That was really something. Chat's still catching their breath after that one, huh? Oh, well, not that creepy guy. Clue. Acid. Oh. Dust. Pulp. How I always wanted to meet these strangers. Sour, handshake, sweat. I always had the intuition the world could change completely. Let's see here. Nothing. I always looked for other worlds. The incense? Okay. A little ring, ding ding. That was nice. All right. Well, the flower seems like the most, but it's not the same. The book is 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 personal, you know. That book is like the smell of that old book. How I always wanted to meet these strangers. What did you choose for smell? Let's breathe in deep. This book is supposed to make children afraid of the outside world. Every household has a copy, but it had its purpose in the old days. What with the chaos and violence and confusion, but it didn't work on you. You were scared of the images, but as soon as you could talk, you had... Are they hungry? Did they get enough sleep? Soon enough, the creatures became familiar. You dreamed of meeting them. They became your friends. Another moment when I began to realize what kind of person you are. That you were born to step outside of our lives here. Now touch. Pick something with the texture you like. Pick something with the texture you like. Okay, let's see. What about... Hmm. Texture. Not that fucking little doll. I don't want that doll. I think I want to try the ceramic animal. Cool, scratchy palm grains. A friend gave me this a long time ago. So what did you end up choosing? Okay, feel the surface, the cool stone. I remember. This was in the months after your father passed. You didn't seem sad, but you just weren't interested in anything. It was hard to know what to do. One day, you and your friend Pate went fishing. 
He didn't catch anything, of course, but when I was putting away your bucket, we found this creature there. Pate had dropped it in without you noticing. I remember how it made you smile. And I felt, oh, no matter how much things have changed, I will get to see my little girl smile again. I'm fine. Let's do sight next. Pick something that, that looks nice. Mom and Dad, before I was born, I was born in the glow of my parents' love. I wanted to be, yeah, born so, in the what did you end up choosing? Love of my parents' love. I want to choose that one. I think, yeah. I remember. This was the night I told your dad I was pregnant with you. Oh, oh, that's cute. There was a party in the plaza. Mm -hmm. I didn't have anything to drink, just water. He didn't wonder why. At the end of the night, I told him I was pregnant. And he was so happy and so surprised that he, well, he threw up. <laughs> That's cute. Mm, I'm already sad. Poor taste. We can eat breakfast and feed some to the burner. The memory I'll lose is the one we're forming right now. I want you to have it forever. Standing here, you're having a last taste of home. Now you're protected by lost memories. A gem of home around your neck. This is my only condition for letting you go. You must promise me never to take the pendant off. Yeah, I can do that. And never tamper with it. Yeah, that's fine. That's easy. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Obviously. Love you, Johnny. Thanks for stopping by. See you later. Come on by anytime. Then I'm okay with you leaving. Oh, jeez. Okay, think this your is... camera and bag are still in your room. It's time to gather them up. Beautiful little house. What's this? There's a candle. Right. I've lost so much. How could the world ask me to lose you too? Taking photos of each other. <laughs> Look at us. There we are. There we were. We'll always be right here on this beautiful morning.
All right, we uh, we left the house now. I just performed a ritual with my mom. The moment has passed, but I'll record it in these pages for you for the future. Gotta place enough keepsakes to unlock inspiration. I gotta place enough keepsakes to unlock an inspiration. Come on. Oh. Oh, look at this beautiful portrait of my of my mom and father. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Alright. That's a memory of my friend's toy that made me feel better about my father's passing. Okay. Alright. Alright. This is good. This is good. It's just my childhood book. Just a book for my childhood. <sighs> Wasn't afraid of. I want. I'm not done. I wanted to put I the photo of my mom. My mom would share a memory of dad while cooking oh, fuck. on a walk, with no warning. It knocked the wind out of me. Rituals take this grief and give it a shape and a story. Filling in this journal is a ritual too, but for a loss that hasn't hit us yet. Wow. I mean, this is gonna make me start journaling. God damn. Gotta put the photo on my mom. I've brought tools to record the sights and sounds of this season. I'll start by recording the only place I've ever known. Oh my god, I'm doing fucking field recordings? Public sleep music is a tradition of ours here. When the music ends, the village will begin to wake up. I want to live there. Oh. Oh. oh, this is good. This is going to be a good game. Last night, there was a goodbye party here in the plaza. Everyone was so afraid for me. To understand that fear, to understand where I grew up, you have to know the man standing watch over the plaza, Dr. Funio. I don't get that. Last night, my friends wrote down their hopes for my trip and tied them to the branches of this tree. Hi, Tyler. Welcome in. Good morning. We're playing this very beautiful game. 
And I'm already devastated, and we'll see how, how it goes. I can run, that's good. It smells like an old set. man's toes dipped in cinnamon. I had to drink this gross potion last I need to have uh, music Mountain. or something. I gotta do something. Dr. Fumio and his son founded Cairo back in 776. They live on through our traditions. Okay. Got it. Okay. Place things, take pictures. Record. There are three murals celebrating Dr. Fumio's work. Who's Dr. Fumio? Better find out. Uh, that's triangles to record audio. Squares to take pictures. I'm gonna make all my pictures perfect. They're all gonna be really good. I'm gonna actually just go in all the other way. Okay. Remembering everything must be painful. Dr. Fumio brought peace to so many people here. Wow. Wow. Dr. Fumio cured memory excess. I love you, Dr. Fumio. Thank you, Dr. Fumio. This is Dr. Fumio and his son. The statue isn't as old as it looks. The artist wore it down to give it a feeling of ancientness and the authority that comes with it. Okay, so then I open this, and then I go, okay, cool, and then I tag Dr. Fumio, place that there, cool, okay, the murals, gotta find these murals. I wish I could tell you more about this poster, but I never thought to ask what it means. Now we'll both never know what it means. Oh well. Is that not one of the portraits that I need to do? Oh. Okay. These are the keepsakes, got it, okay, and then I go Girl Village, and then that though it's not one of them, but I can these keepsakes.
Yeah, her outfit's so good, Marit, isn't it? I love the bag. The pants are sick. The glasses are awesome. She has great style. And this is a cool mural. And I'm going to learn more about Dr. Fumio now, I think. The Take elder sought out Dr. Fumio to cure her mother, who was suffering from time misperception. Okay. Dr. Fumio said the dream sickness was caused by something very powerful. He wasn't able to cure it. Damn. Yeah, this game is giving me some kind of... It, it does feel a little Zelda-y at times. Um, in the art style, I guess. And we're going to be going on a little open world adventure, so... I see what you mean about Skyward Sword. But I have a feeling that instead of using a sword, we're going to use uh, a appreciation for the beauty of the universe instead. Um, Alright, let's see here. So we got the one with the clocks. And we got... Oops. I love this game already so much. Mind Dr. Fumio was an important person, but we also just have a need to put a human face on events that are beyond our control. He may have felt just as scared and helpless as everyone else. Cool. Great. Almost got my keepsakes. Oh, what's this little fish with a flower? Pate loves fish, even though nobody here has ever seen one. No one's ever seen a fish? I guess we live in the mountains. Wine. I step up on this to take a photo? No. Whoa. Tyler, I'm the same. I've been waiting for this since it was announced. I've been like, this is my shit. The ruins in the distance were used to make us afraid of the outside world. Dangerous and impossible to reach, they said. A village that was created as a place to heal. Is that where my instinct to try to help comes from? It's so strange to imagine I'll be shaped by places and people I haven't met yet. So strange to imagine that I might feel at home somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, Tyler, that's the thing is this same for me. I'm the only one of my friends who knows who's excited about this game. And I, uh, I guess that's why we're all on Twitch is we're all here to find the other people who care about the thing that no one circles or even aware of, right? This would be a cozy game for Switch. It does seem like it would be on Switch, but it's not. I guess it's a PlayStation exclusive, no? 
Um, alright. Anyway, this game is fucking beautiful. I guess it's time for me to... ...move on. They're past seasons, I don't know about that, actually. Golden Days, Season Modernity. Cultural Change. Great War. Oh. Oh my god, Sharice, amazing. Very nice. I'm excited for you to get to play it. No worries if you want to avoid spoilers. I don't understand. Um, and Dreamer Money, good question. And honestly, yes, this is now exactly the the perfect time for a potty break. So let's do precisely that. Um, and I will leave you with a little Shugo Tokamaru. See you in a moment. Okay, hello. How's it going? Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome back. Welcome, Scrimp. Thank you for being here, Scrimp. Thank you all for being here. We got the cozy hoodie on because I'm getting a little chilly. As you may not, you may remember from the beginning of the stream, or you may be joining us now, I'm a little bit under the weather. You can maybe hear it in my... Maybe you can hear it. Tiff, hello. Welcome in. Um, and welcome everyone who's joining us. Uh, I am Cozy. This is another, another lovely little message from not Zach. <laughs> Marit is not Zach. Definitely not Zach. Thank you very much, Marit. Um, I don't know what that was. That's crazy, though. It definitely says Atticus Maticus. It says get yourself a big treat. Um, but, uh, but thank you, everybody, for being here. We are uh, having a lovely little time here with Scrimp, and we are playing this beautiful, beautiful game. That is uh, really cute and sweet. And uh, here we go. Oh, strange. Okay. Weird, Mart. Got it. Thank you, Claudia. Before we play the game. I can get into. Before we play the game. Oh, no. That's not what I wanted. I don't know what this is. Something happens where it it triggers my alerts when I switch scenes, like old alerts. <laughs> Just like that. I mean, do it again. All right, <clears throat> there we go. Sorry. Okay. There we go. Okie dokie. Get back to the game. Alrighty. Bingy, how you doing? Are you okay with having the hat on? You okay with it, or do you hate it? He hates. It. I think he hates it, but I'm gonna let. I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit. All right, here we go. Oh. Why is there... Why is there fishing poles if there's no I fish? I was fishing here with my best friend, Pate. Even though there's nothing to catch. Hmm? We both appreciate the silence.
What does that mean? You just stand here and you just dangle and you just laugh and enjoy life with each other? Enjoy, absorb a moment with each other? That's all you do down here? It's true. Sounds like a really nice time. Fishing definitely is not about catching fish. Fishing like golf is I love um Carol Village was founded during the modernity. Whatever doesn't matter. Fuck it. Much Fuck my later Dr. Fumio arrived and remade it in jokes. his image. I don't want my little jokes anymore. I just want to enjoy beauty in this world. This flower means you're in my thoughts. The morning after the search was called off for dad, our doorstep was covered in them. I'm just being very quiet. Sorry, was I being too quiet? You couldn't hear me? I was just whispering like this. You can't hear me when I whisper like this. Okay, I was doing too quiet. I need to whisper. If I'm going to whisper, to do it more like close to the microphone, I guess. It's a little bit too. It's being a little bit too quiet, I guess. I'm just recording these little memories of my village. She tosses her hands out when she goes down the stairs. Look at that. See, 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 see. Fantastic. Okay. Here we go. Is it recording? Yes. Okay. How to leave home for my daughter. Find a sacred square of earth. Lay down so you have the dirt at your back. Close your eyes. Close everything. Do you see for yourself? You see for the dead, for the unborn. Do you listen for yourself? You listen for the dead, for the unborn. Your ancestors are in that dirt. All the living and all the dead are holding you up. Now stand. They're still there, aren't they? It's time to move to entangle yourself everywhere with everyone. So the next time you lay down in the dirt, you will have so much more to tell them. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. the game is beautiful. This, uh...
Man, I love feelings. Oh my god, that's I did just noticed the pin comment. That's fantastic. <laughs> Pate fixed up three bikes instead of one. Take another moment here. Hold on. Just record the sound of the These bikes were used by messengers a long, long time ago. Oh, am I gonna pick? Oh, come on! Oh, I need your help. I can't do this alone. Can't do this alone. They each they each have very valid reasons. I really need your help, chat. Please, please, please help me. Wow, yellow sweep. I was not expecting that. I was expecting pink to take it. I think the blue and pink are splitting the vote. It is a nice yellow, though. I mean, pink is also... Yellow does fit the sunset. Interesting. Wow. All right. Well, we're almost at the end of the poll, and it looks like Looks like yellow's gonna take it. Thank you for voting, everybody. There we go. Oh, 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 it feels so good. The haptic feedback on the, th oh my God, you have no idea how nice this is. like riding my bike for some reason it's really good Let's go. Take the controller off the screen. I want it. I can I don't need to be accelerating down the hill. Is this a fixie?
I wish I had loved you more completely when the world allowed it. <laughs> this is the beginning of the game? This is the beginning? <sighs> Imagine if I hadn't picked up this letter. They were right. The letter never made it. <sighs> the season before this one, the war, <sighs> seems so horrible. Oh my god. What are these things for? Birds? Most of what I've seen from the outside world probably arrived in a cart like this. Oh, the game is too beautiful. I can see in these letters that the outside world has extremes of beauty and tragedy beyond anything I've known. Oh god, I'm fucking terrified of opening this letter now. Okay. <laughs> what does it say? Let's get this out of, uh, I'm not gonna read it all. <laughs> Desperate to forget. This one's not, that one's not as... Hero Village, Dr. Fumio roamed the land curing people. <laughs> it must have been hard when he wasn't around anymore. Especially for people who couldn't travel to the village. Dear Cornelius, I thought it over and I have to tell you the name you pick for your baby, it's terrible. <laughs> oh no. That poor baby. Okay, let's um let's see here. Got that a caro. 
Where is the letter that I... Thank you very much for the ghost set. Well, where's the one that... Where's the one that we all cried to? That letter was special. Traders used to come to the outskirts of the village. The war put an end to this. Oh, I can. Okay, here it is. I have to take it. Okay. This is the best. This is the best letter. It's just so. Get nice and big. Then I'm doing this. I wish I had loved you more completely when the world allowed it is going to devastate me for years. I can't, I can't believe it. I feel nourished in these sights by the unfamiliarity of it all. These means of connection, long in disuse, are certainly telling me something about the world. Will they be used again in the next season? Oh my god, Arthur fell off the bed. Hold on. Bingy. Let me just fix it so you can see it a little better. Look at the cat. Look at the cat. There you go. Oh. Great job, Arthur. You're doing a really good job. You're a great cat. Oh, boy. Back to the game. Dude, I'm gonna be like diamond ranked in this game by the end of the week. I'm gonna be diamond, diamond one. Hmm. I want this thing to disappear from my screen. I know how to do it now.
I should have taken an epic photo of these. Fuck. the village, these cranes look like little creatures, grazing. I had no idea how huge they are. I heard at some point the tides got less predictable. Places flooded that never had before. Sounds familiar. God, I'm gonna be weeping by the end of this game, aren't I? Shit. Alright. It's just... You gotta explore at your own pace in this game, apparently. It's not really like a very linear story, so... Hope you don't mind if I'm not wa watching a fa uh, what do you call it? like a playthrough, I'm not following a playthrough. I was going to say. <laughs> me after the pizza mukbang. Oh no. Don't remind me, passion. Oh. old technology in school, but not much about animals. What are these strange goat-like creatures? Are they simply goats? Are they simply goats? Are you simply a goat? <laughs> Hello, I'm simply goat. Ah, she's simply goat. She is a simple goat. Can I pet it? My first time petting oh! an animal. I think it went pretty well. I'm surprised that this goat let me do that, to be honest. But Alright, this is cool. I'm going to go get my bike. I guess I can ride my bike here. Goats would not let you do that in real life. I don't have a ton of goat experience. I wouldn't say that I'm the goat when it comes to goats. Huh. A crane to move materials around. The things that used to be possible. Yeah, I just want to remind everyone that I... Got this amazing pic of this simple goat. Makes memories. Only have two pages? Is it simply a goat? Where's the th part about it? Is it simply a goat? Oh. Not on there. 
I understand how I'm copying my sound to a buck. I mean, right. let's ride. Let's go, girl. Oh, shit, I have to walk it across. <laughs> oh, jump. Nice. This is pretty. <sighs> I cycled through landscapes, seeing them for the first and last time. I had no idea when I left my home how the season would end, or more importantly, how soon. On a cold, damp day, I feel true loneliness for the first time. Nobody could have described with words how big this world is, how it goes and goes. I passed through it, where others passed before me. I can't go there. Can I like hop on stuff or no? I guess not. No platforming. person wanted the season to change. Why? season turns, the reasons behind things might disappear. But the engine may survive. The power is not lost. 
it's just buried a little. Oh god. That's true, pee basket fashion. This game, this bike could be the pee pee bike. I like that idea. Okay, where should I go now? Gotta go down here, huh? RP. They wanted the season to change because they were so alone. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh, loneliness. We are in an age of alienation. Oh god. Not my journal. A little bit bigger. Whew. Okay. One melody is like me out here alone. Wow, I want the resolution so badly. Okay. I have a feeling they use these music boxes to fall asleep. Kept 
themselves company with music. <laughs> Time seems to pass differently around here. I feel so heavy and so light at the same time. I'm not really alone. I'm with myself. I'm with the earth. <sighs> I'm not alone. <sighs> Wait, I gotta, I gotta write that other part down. That was a really good thought. Myself with the earth. Ah! <sighs> okay. Cool. 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 Feeling normal. Feeling good. Feeling great. Um. <sighs> Any other memories I want to record? <sighs> a little rain decoration on it. A little rain deck. <laughs> Put a little tiny bit of rain deck up. Yeah. How, how did Arthur react to my reaction? Okay. Two voices is like me and my mom. We can survive, but eventually you need more. They used the walls like I use my journal. Am I supposed to sleep here? I thought I saw something on the bed. Oh, oops, okay. Oh, this is the way. Okay, I thought it'd be a different song. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep. It could be game of the year. Oh my god, I need to pause. That's fucking hell. It's time for a potty break. Oh my god. Oh, this game is so beautiful. Fuck. No, stop being so pretty. I gotta go. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, alright. Who wants to celebrate the game? Alright. All right, y'all, if you have any moisture left, if you have any moisture left after all that crying, let's, um, let's listen to Future Islands Seasons. And the song sounds like this. See you in a few minutes. Oh god, I can't. I can't do it. No, this was autoplay. I can't do New York, I love you, but you're bringing me down right now while we're playing the game about leaving home. And... Oh, fuck. It was autoplay. I didn't mean for this to happen.
Oh shit, oh god, oh no. <laughs> I gotta, oh god. Oh fuck. <laughs> Hold on, oh gee, oh god. This song's gonna make me cry too much. Oh god. <laughs> That's no, okay. It's a good song. The when I always fucking weep at the end. Of the oh, take me off your waiting list for kids who think it still exists. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're right. Oh, maybe mother told you true, and there'll always be somebody there for you, and you'll never be alone. Oh God, I can't. I can't do that right now. You can only have my version. We're gonna go back to some some less. Uh... Oh God, can't do it. I couldn't. Thank you and thank you, Passion. Let's go, GG Passion on the. What are we listening to? So yeah, if you'd like to know what we're listening to, why don't you try the new song command? Now. My new display thing is just a little bit uh, unreliable, so sometimes you'll need to type song if you want to know what the song is. So why don't you try it right now? Who wants to know what the song is? There we go. Thank you. Oh, what? It didn't update? Fuck. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> Thank you for the ghost tip. Why is it not updating? It takes a moment. Jeez. Smoky. This is Scrim. This is... No, thank you. You did great, Passion. This is Scrimp. Scrimp is the new creative director, publicist, and lawyer for the channel. So thank you very much, Scrimp, for being here. We love you very much. Full screen for you. He really knows. He really knows how to do this. He's really good at kit. Like he's he's being really good on cat TV. This is still not New York. I love you. I don't know what the fuck. This is no different. Oh. Can't speak anymore. This is Gal Costa. Oh. All right. Regardless, let's get back to the game. Love that. Love that, Johnny. Thank you for that. I love this new command, Sharice. If you set that up, thank you. Let's uh, let's hit that. So first off, thank. Uh, this is for Sharice for setting up that command, and this is for Passion for setting up the song command. GG. GG on that. Now this is the... Let's go, girl. Goodbye to this Looks lonesome like season. Made it out of here. But what is this group? Welcome in, Clearly Brogan. Hello. Bring you over here for a second. Say hi, welcome in. I'm Miles, this is Scrimp. These are brand new 
creative director for the channel. And we got Arthur, Arthur Russell Bengus over here. That's the cat. You saw the cat. Welcome in. Thanks for the raid. Thanks for joining us, Clearly Brogan. Um, we're playing Season, which I don't know if you know about it, but um, it is a uh, beautiful game that I am currently... Uh, oh. Hello? Hello? Click on the fucking door, you twat. Uh -huh. We've all been there, haven't we? Uh, w welcome in. Lovely to have you. Uh, this is... <laughs> I, I like the clip, don't worry. Um, we are... Yeah, we're playing Season. I'll kiss the cats to say thank you. And Dreamer Money, thank you so much for the gift sub. Very kind of you. All right, we are back. We are going to play the game. We're going to pause the beautiful music for a second. And we're going to enjoy a little bit of this extraordinarily pretty game that is really... I mean, I'm, I'm just barely recovering from that last bit. But uh, let's see. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, we're gonna go to Tiang Valley. All right, let's, um, let's see. In the empty places, I found companionship in the tapes I recorded before leaving home. Oh god, this is The elder told me the story of her life. Oh god. I listened back to it, ready to note down anything that seemed important. Let's set the scene for the listener. Oh, this is one of those feels games. This is definitely one of those feels games. <laughs> we are not... We are not often crying on stream as much as we have been in the past two hours. All right, let's Whoever set the that scene. Might be, this is the Elder speaking. We're sitting in the plaza, saying goodbye to a dear soul. We're here to see if there's anything useful in my mind that could help you on your trip. A century's worth of memories, dreams, fantasies, visions. Like a big, old, haunted library. When I die, this library will burn down. But which book should we check out first? Why do you have to be so whimsical about it? Ah. I don't have all the answers. <sighs> okay. But I do feel the story of my life could help you understand what kind of world is out there. Thank you, Elder. Thank you, Elder, for helping me understand what kind of world is out there with the memories of your life. God. Ugh. It's okay not to understand everything right away. <laughs> the moment may pass before you've gotten a firm hold on it. But as long as you're there to witness it, to take it down in your journal, you and others to come will someday take the time to make sense of it all. I heard somebody told me. You want to capture what it's like to be alive during this season? For the future? And you want to understand why and how the season is going to end? The season of my youth is long gone. But I can tell you what that season was like and what I know about how it ended. First, I got old. That's an important step. Being an elder is all about how you react to strange events. 
the key is not to be surprised, but kind of frown, look serious, and say something like, it begins. Never say, I don't know. Say, we dive into a pool of uncertainty. I was born on the ocean. My mother and father worked on a cruise ship. The short-lived but glorious watery republics. Floating cities. Most won their independence by the time I was born. How can I describe them? They were a jewel of the golden season. Pleasure boats with a radical political program. How nice. The golden age was a time of flags, logos, mottos, mastheads. Flags? My mom taught me to read them. She was the ship's philosopher. My dad was a recycling engineer. Billy Brogan, no worries. Yeah, you can, no worries at all. Thanks for stopping by. It is, uh, I'm definitely gonna encourage it. I'm like, I'm a couple hours in here and it's already shaking me to my core and I can't wait to tell other people about it. But um, yeah, thanks for stopping by and come back anytime, you'll enjoy it here. Uh, and thank you again for the raid. Okay. Recycling on the ship was a matter of life and death. We had to get the most out of every object and watt of energy. My grandparents played with the past. They changed it like we change our wardrobe. Sounds about right. So it was a different answer every time, but they often said we are exiles of some kind. Exiled royalty from a secret lineage. Blood that glows in the dark. Or we're exiled from the mouth of some great Leviathan. When they were older, they just said, We're from here. We're from right now. <sighs> I loved the way the ship would tilt and roll with the waves, especially as I fell asleep. It was so comforting. Picture me as a kid in bed, feeling the swaying of the ship. It was like being rocked to sleep as a baby. I loved exploring the ship too, wandering through the suites, the swimming pool, the game rooms, and oh, there were two dance halls. A large, elegant one and another one in the basement. A lot of my firsts were down there. My first dance, my first kiss. Yeah, is anything else that you're gonna tell me right now? And so forth. Okay, you're gonna get me just one of those. I got it. That's, I'm glad that you didn't. Our go ship into was detail. taken over in the early days of the war. All right. Good. That was the end of the watery republics. Well, not good. Sorry. I okay. heard the dance hall in the basement became a weapons cache. Uh, of course. It took me half my life to say goodbye to the world I knew in my youth. Imagine me and my parents and everyone I knew being escorted off the ship by a company of soldiers. And I'm thinking, I hope they don't make a mess of my room. I was embarrassed by the younger kids who were crying their eyes out. But they knew, I guess. Even as things got bad, I couldn't imagine the changes were permanent. It's easy now to look back and say the internationalism of the golden season was violently breaking down. You can be naive about all kinds of things, but not war. Most of my life has been spent in isolated communities and the one moment, the one moment I was in the wild world, you couldn't pick a more chaotic time. And we had been warned the season was going to end. Oh, but we didn't understand the warning. You see, one night, along a coastline, we saw beautiful lights shimmering above the water. 
later, we found out this was an ancient warning system. It hadn't been used in so long. We didn't know what it meant. We just thought, well, ain't that pretty. We tried to stick together and camped out on the coast of the prismatic grounds. I love, um, I love this game. <laughs> Uh, and Johnny, I love what you've written in chat. That's so lovely. I'm wondering if I should... Is this... Do we want chat to be record- Oh my god, the Fernelli message. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> the Fernelli message is still up during this tender moment. I was like... Should we? <laughs> I was like, should we have chat up so that <laughs> so that we can see all these lovely messages that everyone's writing in the chat? And <laughs> and Fernelli's tender BRB. I'm pissing my cock. <laughs> Uh, I, I can't wait to show Fernelli this. <laughs> yeah, if you get if that's clipped, that's fine. <laughs> Cause I'll just have something to show Fernie. Um, but if you don't mind, help me real quick. Uh, deciding if this is a windowed or full screen game, and. I would appreciate your input because obviously there's advantages to both and um, yeah and yes big bug boy I agree the strawberries I, I can't stop crying after the strawberries we're all we're all emotionally devastated from the last of us so it's a great time to be playing this game. Also, I really like the idea that they're sitting in silence for a while before I ask this question. So, hang tight. It's a game you just don't window, seems like. Thank you. Okay. I Okay. You know, it was like I wasn't sure if we want more of the... Chat is too tiny in the layout to read. Interesting. I guess if you're on mobile, probably, yeah. Hmm. Well, regardless, let's, uh, let's, I guess we're gonna full screen it. I wanna say thanks to NatPat for the resub. Um, Dreamer Money, thanks again for that. Give sub to Cleo Relief. Rogan, Rogan, thanks for the raid. And, um, let's hop back into the game we can make that text a little bigger huh we can make the size of the text itself bigger okay and welcome first time chat thank you for voting but um it is gonna be full screen all right let's see the kingdom of girls. art and science they got rich during the golden season. Everything that made them beloved before the wealth came. Passionate, uncompromising, self-obsessed. Made them unbearable once they had power. Oh, there's a lot of nations I could, I could throw under the bus with that. I could make a little joke, but I'm done with my little jokes. I'm done with my little jokes while I'm playing this game. Artists make terrible kings. Wow. Wow. That's put that put a little bow on that. Are you sure you want me to keep going? Um. Yeah. I want you to keep. I love everything you're saying. When you, of course you. Uh... Can you believe I haven't done any of my little jokes today? The story gets darker from here on. Let's keep going. I love darker. Okay, so... Conditions in the camp were getting worse. 
My uh -oh. mom got lost in thought for long periods of time. She'd be completely still for hours, days even. We realized she caught, well, now we call it time misperception disorder. It's when you lose your ability to tell how much time is passing. A minute can feel like an hour. A day can pass in 10 seconds. Oh no. How did she catch it? TikTok? We don't know exactly. Was it TikTok? Sounds like TikTok. Our consciousness is delicate. There are minerals and sounds that can adjust it. Dr. Fumio's greatest fear was that someone would use this as a weapon. We heard about a traveling doctor who could cure these kinds of diseases. I decided to go find him. I found out his name was Dr. Fumio. I love you, Dr. Fumio. His son Lucio. And I love Dr. Fumio and I love your son Lucio. People talked about him like he was a god. The prismatic grounds had roped almost everyone into their system until they reached the far wastes and heard no for the first time. Nobody reacted well. It got to the point of, you know, neighborhood against neighborhood. Grievances had been buried so deeply we forgot they were there. It felt like things changed overnight. I'd pass through a city and hear later that they'd torn each other apart. I could not imagine it. I described my mom's condition to Dr. Fumio. He said there was no cure yet, but there was a village high in the mountains. He thought it was high enough he'd have a better chance at treatment. Lower places are more dangerous. Valleys are the worst. He invited me to join them in going to the village, but I wanted to go back and get my parents and bring them with me. Yes, our Carroll village. That's us. People thought it had been destroyed, or was a myth, but Lucio had a vision which showed us how to get here. I packed my things and got ready to leave the next morning. This beautiful looks like Cusco in here. At night, my mom came to me in a dream. She was standing in a field of flowers. I'd grown since I last saw her. We were the same height. She pressed a finger hard into my palm. She taught me well. I knew the meaning of the gesture. I knew no matter what I did, I'd never see my parents again. In the morning, I told Dr. Fumio I would follow him to Carroll Village. The next few weeks were very physically tiring, hiking, climbing. And when we found the village, building, planting, cleaning, Fumio brought sick people from all over the world, and they got better. The treatments worked. Everyone was healing. So why couldn't I? One day, we got word the war was over. We never found out how it ended. It was like peace just swept over the earth in a split second. There was a party in the plaza to celebrate the end of the war. But I couldn't bring myself to go. Yes, it was over. But it had taken my home, my family. That night, as I was falling asleep, I felt the bed tilt and sway gently as if it was being tossed on the waves of the ocean, as if I was back in my bedroom on the ship, as if I was back in my mother's arms, being rocked gently to sleep. I knew I was finally home, and nothing could hurt me. Ah. Uh. All right, we're doing a giveaway. I'm giving this game away. We're doing a giveaway. We, I got some. You, you have to play this game, or you, you're gonna have to play this game. I imagine coming upon a place oh as hidden God. and singular as my own village. Eventually, I found myself circling a valley, looking for a way in. And then I have, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I love you all. I love this game. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna buy a copy for someone at the end of the stream. And then I'm gonna figure out getting in touch with the company so I can get a couple more keys to give away because I, I love it. 
Oh, I'm not ending, Marit. I'm just like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna give this away when I'm ending. I have to give away a copy. So it's like PS5 or Steam, I think, will be... Mara, don't worry. I love that. I love that you're falling asleep. You're gonna have really emotional dreams. Also, PS4 trees. Cool. Perfect, Mara. I'm just glad that you're crying yourself to sleep because of beauty, not because someone pinching you or something. I don't know. I can't fully form thoughts. Or I can't do my little jokes. Chad, I can't do my little jokes today. I'm too... Oh, we got a damn gift from the prismatic grounds. Tiang Valley dam. Alright. We never use this kind of technology in my village. Nobody trusted it. We go inside now. It was so fucking beautiful. Oh wait. Oh, I gotta take a picture. It's a little too misty for a pick, isn't it? What do the filters do? Oh. Okay, what is it, 2009? Right. Glenn, sending you lots of love. Thanks for, thanks for always being so, so beautiful. And thanks for, uh, passing that sentiment. I love that this, um, the way that the haptic feedback thing works is really satisfying where it's like way harder to pedal at the beginning. And once you get in your groove, it's easy. Car is running. What? People? <gasps> it's a guy. And he's French coded. Oh. The uh, valley. Um. One second. Oh, he's got a sign. Hold on. The elder said that people were exhausted by symbols after the war. But here are a few hanging. Is that a strodofop? Uh, what, what are they called? What is it? I love old gear like that. It's getting more and more rare. I, I had a camera, but it broke. Not that interesting of a story. I what are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are we doing here, chat? You ever look at you ever look at an option in a game and a guy says, What are you doing here? And you have to think a long time about the answer. I mean I would like to do all of these things. But 
I think that I'm gonna say this one. The whole thing, huh? You'd observe You're and young. record the, you, the world. You've got time. What kind of stuff are you recording? That's the way to do it, if you ask me. This game is basically just Chris Marker's Sans Soleil. This is the first time I've ever seen someone making Sans Soleil into a video game. Which, by the way, we uh, you all have to watch. Maybe I'll do a screening of Sans Soleil. And when, when do we get to the era where I get to start screening the art films that I want on the screen in Discord? Is that cool? You know, I used to be a, a teacher's assistant for a film professor. And that's, okay, that's what I used to do. I would do, like, real obscure-ass shit. Um, okay, let's do, uh, let's probably do, let's do Chris Marcus Sans Soleil, but we can do that tonight. Who wants to do that? If anyone I'm asks sick, me, so I can't I go think. out, so we'll watch Sans Soleil. It's amazing. The valley would be a good place to use those tools. Too bad it's closed down. Let me finish up here, huh? Damn. Wow. I'm not the first to do this. Just the first in a long time. Hey. My tables. All right. This was like a second home for a while. That was fun earlier when you showed up. And I was carrying the cardboard man. You were like, who are these guys? <laughs> I've been pretty bored here. You know, the valley's going to be flooded soon. That's why nobody can go in there. The dam is oh. falling apart. It's too old. There's nobody left who knows how to repair it. We're taking it down so we'll know when it'll collapse. It gives us time to evacuate everyone. Hmm. Greyhounds. Oh, We're a community Greyhounds. organization. Nice. We do all kinds of fun stuff. Health clinics, mind sweeping, daycare, evacuations, weddings. Mind sweeping, weddings. We're new. We're new. I like this guy. It was supposed to be because we're helpful yet neutral. Hmm. Okay. We took a vote and decided to change the name, though. We want something more friendly sounding. I'm excited to find out what it would be. All right. I'm excited for We're you. We're trying to get new things going, but it's hard. The past really has a tight grip on people. It doesn't feel like a fair fight. So we're trying to... Well... Anyway. It's funny. I stood guard here for a week, and I've only seen greyhounds like myself. And valley people on their way out. But now I see you, and you're like a... New element, or something. I've never met anyone doing what you're doing. And uh, we Greyhands gotta support new things. So... Hmm. I'm not supposed to let anyone in. How can I? I think you should go down into the valley and take a look. Gotta try something here. Dang it. I was trying to wink. <laughs> well, you get the idea. New friend. Go on and put that old gear to use. You can take my map of the valley too. I don't need it anymore. I'll be down if they gave one up around midnight. See you then. Love him. Love him. Love this silly little man. Little silly guy. I met a gray hand. He let me into the valley. I think he wanted me to record what the gray hands were up to, and he gave me a map. The assembly point seemed like a good place to start. 
I wonder what he expects me to discover in the valley. Yay, I met a friend. Yay. Oh, I'm happy about that. Okay, I'm going to pause for a second because I need to do a toilet potty break. But, um, okay, and when I'm back, I'll go over. When I'm back, let's do the giveaway. I do want to wrap this up soon, kind of. As much as I'm in love with this game, I uh, want to take my time. and. But I, we'll do, like, another 20 minutes. I just uh, I got to go up to the potty, and then we'll be back, and we'll do that. So I'm actually going to, instead of playing the normal playlist, I'm going to play... See. I'm gonna play the, the cozy the cozy playlist. So let's do this. Alright, and I'll see you all in a minute. Alright. Welcome back everybody. Welcome back to Scrimp. Thank you, Scrum, for being here. We love you. We're proud of you, and you're my favorite. Uh, you're my favorite creative director I've ever met. Thank you for being my new lawyer. I can't do my little jokes, chat. I'm emotionally devastated. Um, so this game is beautiful, and I'd like to give it. I'd like to give away a copy right now. So let's do that right now. Let's do. Um, do a, a, a one of these bots. Bots gonna do a giveaway. And um, why did the music stop? Oh, song's over. Okay. Cool. Um, so this uh, let's see here. Yeah, it was a car break. You're right. We're gonna do a giveaway. The giveaway is going to be for this little treat. The prize is going to be a code for a season. Um, and let's open it up. So you're going to type. Is it working? I have to sign in. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry. I need to, I think, sign in again. Oh no. Oh, okay. Sorry. I had to, I, I forgot what I had to click. Okay. Now we're good. Now we should be good. Okay. Now. Okay. Should be connected. And now we do. E giveaway. Oh, why am I connected and not Smokey? Huh, okay. I don't know what I did wrong there, but that's okay. Should be Smokey, not me. But yeah, this is... uh. This is beautiful, this game. I'm really enjoying it. And it really does immediately bring me to Sans Soleil. Well, let me, um, I'll be RB. Hold on, look at
So, I would love to remind you that I've just just now announced that I'd like to screen Sans Soleil in the Discord tonight. Um, maybe at around 8 p.m. Eastern, if that seems like a decent time. We're going to wrap this up now, so we'll give everyone... Maybe I'll do it at 7, give everyone an hour to... Get ready. I don't know. What do you think, Sharice? What do I, I don't know. You're, you're the admin here. Or passion. Either of you think that that's reasonable time? Seven o'clock? Seven thirty? I don't know. We can talk um about that. And Rachie Rage, absolutely yes. That's gonna be album of the day is coming up. Um, but so this film is uh. Very, very celebrated, delightful film. It's described here as a mind-bending, free-form travelogue. No, let's do eight, eight o'clock. That's fine. That's a good idea, Sharice. I think let everyone finish up what their dinners and everything. Um, Chris Marker, filmmaker, poet, novelist, photographer, editor, now videographer, and digital multimedia artist, has been challenging moviegoers, philosophers, and himself for years with his complex queries about time, memory, and the rapid advancement of life on this planet. These two films, well, that's talking about La Jete, which is the other film on this DVD case, um, and Sans Soleil. These two films... A tale of time travel st told in still images. That's the first. That's La Jete, which I can screen at some point too. Um, and a journey to Africa and Japan remain his best loved and most widely seen. This is this Sans Soleil is about a journey to Africa and Japan, and it's my favorite film, one of them. Um, so I'd be happy to show that to you tonight. It is a travelogue. It's very similar to what we're experiencing with season. So I hope that you. Come by and enjoy watching the film with us. Um, and please, uh, please, please join the Discord for more fantastic stuff like this. I'm going to be giving away the game now. So let's do that. Here we go. Ready? Close. And we're going to pick the winner. And the winner is... Rubert. Ruvert, please speak up. Um and we will uh if one of you mods don't mind uh sending a whisper over to Rue and finding out Rue if you'd prefer um PlayStation or Steam and what region you're in. Uh and then Mods will pass that along to me, and I will buy a code, and that'll be a treat. Um, so yeah. But uh, let's get back into the game, and we will... Uh... And here we go. Violet Emma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Lin Schwankar Wyant marker. I love those are those are three directors I like for sure. I definitely I'm glad to hear that you're studying them. I think that that's one of the best things that school can be for is just encouraging you to watch and consume things in the, the right intent. It's, it, that's fantastic. Um, so let's uh, let's let's jump in the game. And uh, we're gonna pause the music for a second. We're gonna move this along a little bit.
I am probably the last person that will ever be welcomed here by this sign. The Elder told me there is very little information about the years before 500. All above will remain. All below will wash away. The, the elder fucking. warned me about valleys. She said they were dangerous. I feel a dulcet tension in the air. I enter to see the moment between seasons. Keep expecting that I can call my bike. You best get one P beep. One P bike. Serene pond area added to map. A lot of the flowers is the dangerous. Flowers have to say. God of sleep. I've been gathering harpic and I've been gathering courage. If my big prayer is wrong. If it goes against divine will, please spare the people of this valley. We're so desperate for peace. Memory told over and over again. <sighs> If I was field recording and I was recording a flower and then the voice came out, I'd be kind of terrified, but I should get my bike, huh? I don't want to leave my bike all the way up here.
bomb down the hill. Let's go. What's that thing? These metal animals are looking up expectantly. <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you for the sip. I need that. Save. Oh, you can retrieve your bicycle. Oh, wow, look at that. That's a good thing to know. The people here are so weak. I heard gunshots last night. That was us. <laughs> what is that? Look at the pond. The water. What is that? Pattern? Should we... Run or something? Okay. Something frightening happened in this memory. But what was it? What was it? What was that? <laughs> That's us. The people here are so weak. Oh, there was the gunshots there. last night. That was us. <laughs> what is that? Oh. The pond. The water. What is that pattern? The last voice to cry out in the wilderness not even be human. <sighs> oh, God. Ah, oh, who put good pros in a video game like this? Who did that? Dude, uh, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> Game's too pretty. <laughs> uh, look at that bridge. Alright, um, I do actually need to wrap this up, I think. Let's do... Album of the Day. How do I... A green space. I feel memory in the air like pollen. It reminds me of a poem my dad was never able to finish. The Passion, first yeah, line please. Was, if you want to awaken the dead, just whisper. 
Please, yeah, yeah, we can, we can read over if you're ready a little bit. Ah. Uh. Oh, this game is something, but I need to, um, give me one sec, BRB, I'm going to come up with the album of the day, and we're going to do that, and then we're going to take off after we listen to some music. But I'm going to, I'm going to cry. Just everyone just take a take a break to cry. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. I am not sure that I have the perfect song for hope or the for perfect album for the hope topic. There's some songs in, that in, had the word hope in them that I was considering using. Um, there is, hmm, jeez, it's a little tough, but not to say that I don't have hope or don't believe <laughs> hope. Let's, let's do this. This is, I think, uh. I'll, I'll play a couple hopeful love songs for you. And, um... I find this to be... This is, like, kind of a tragic love song, but... No, you know what? Let's do this. Okay. All right. And uh, yeah, be ready for the stream tonight at 8 p.m. We'll be watching. Uh, we will be watching Sans Soleil. And I'll see you a little bit later. This is AM 180 by Granddaddy.